Hey everybody, welcome to another one of the walkabouts. Uh, my name's Kevin, I'm with Walter this time. Hello. What's going on everyone? Uh, so yeah, Walter, like you can see right now, like this is the lobby to the game. Uh, when you first play the game, it starts you off in a tutorial rather than okay. a, uh, just like drop you into the lobby. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, now this is this is a uh, this is a roguelike game as well, right? Yeah, no, this is a roguelike game. Um, it has like a couple of sides to it, so you're able to pick up these things like diamonds in the game, and then you bring right. those to the overworld, and you can upgrade your character, get some more health, get like permanent upgrades, um, and then like you could see the shop over there. It had some items in it that you pick up with sure. the gold and everything, and get that okay so going. the diamonds will serve as more so like a lifetime investment like yeah in, exactly uh, isaac almost with the donation machine i guess mm -hmm. so like better items like you don't start off with five hearts i think you start off with like three okay so it just lets you have a little bit of an easier time because some of the later levels get kind of hairy gotcha mm -hmm. okay so what um what separates this from i guess the whole slew of other roguelikes we got going on this day and age the rhythm it's honestly the okay. rhythm right now dude like, okay, uh, so, oh, so you're playing entirely at the... Um, yeah, song, you're at the mercy much. of the beat right now. Gotcha. And you move around with the arrow keys, uh, and then actually everything's arrow keys. So, okay. like, if you see with the bomb in the top left there, it has the down and left together places a bomb. Right. So, like, it kind of... I like the, the control scheme, but also at the same time it's a little bit tough to get used to, just because, okay. like... Some stuff doesn't really feel natural, like some stuff you have to press like right and left or up and down at the same time and you have like different items and like you, you'll screw up probably because mm -hmm. it's just hard as hell. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like with a game like this controls could be a bit clunky as well. but Yeah, uh, but that's also because the game was originally built apparently for a uh, play with a uh, dance pad. Huh, okay. Yeah, so like later in the video, there's a little segment of uh, it shows off the dance pad mode, which it just has it, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit easier as far as like enemies and craziness goes. Right. But like, you could play this game with a dance pad. <laughs> huh, that sounds, yeah, that's, I would, I would want to try that, I think. I know, definitely. I want to try to like put in the money or something. They have a whole shop for it on their website. <laughs> Which uh, website link will be in the description, so will the store page and everything else relevant to this Beautiful. video. Alright, so you got, um, you just picked up a few items I saw. Um, so mm -hmm. I guess those are just like your temporary upgrades for your playthrough that'll help you through? Yeah, so like you pick up, like, you can get sword, you can get, uh, I have on my head right now a, uh, I think it's like the Spelunker's cap or something like that. It gotcha. lets you, normally when you break stone, like dirt and whatever, you don't jump the next stage. Mm -hmm. So like it just lets you have a little bit of an easier motion. Um, cool. There's a couple different item slots. There's like rings, you can get body armor, boots, and like gotcha. everything serves its own purpose. Um, and then there's different classes to the actual like weapons and armor. So like there's mm -hmm. diamond, there's uh, what you call obsidian and stuff like that. And like they all have just different attributes to them. Right. Um, okay, so I've been I've been pretty confused when I'm watching this, but how exactly does the combat work in this game? So every enemy dances. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, every single enemy has different kind of dance behavior. That was a mini boss that I just burst. Um, gotcha. Like you see that orange guy? He was going around in a circle, kinda. Some guys only go up and down. Okay, so it's all pattern based, and then it's you just all follow pattern with based. The rhythm. Yeah, exactly. That's where the okay. difficulty comes in, just because, like, you have so many different enemies with so many different patterns that it's just mm -hmm. like, what the heck's going on? So at that point, it just kind of becomes more decision-based on who you should, like, tactically eliminate first, I guess. Yeah, within, but you only have that fraction of, of beat, because if you miss the beat, they move. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting, actually. Um, yeah, and then my other my other question is, uh, how does this coin multiplier at the bottom work? Uh, the coin multiplier is just if you keep doing well, like if you don't miss a beat and you keep moving, or if you don't okay. do something like wrong, like um, if I was to try to break those gold walls with my shovel, it right. wouldn't work, and then you would lose your multiplier. Okay, 
And then you get the multiplier back just by attacking enemies or... Um, in one of the stages you can attack like mushrooms and they give it to okay. you. So it's just... That's like all. Um, the other part it plays is with uh, one class of items, the obsidian items. Like, it makes them actually work. Right. So, it, they play around with that a little bit. Very but, interesting. Yeah, it's not too essential for the thing. See, like right there? Mm-hmm. Um, which one calls? So, the music in this game was written by a guy named uh, Danny Baranowski. Gotcha. And the whole soundtrack's actually also available. Cool. Yeah. No, Definitely, I, yeah. I was going to say the soundtrack sound, it sounds fantastic right now. It feels, it's very fitting for the game. Okay. Now, um, is this, is the soundtrack going to be default for every, like, is every time I go to floor one, is it going to play the same thing? Unless you change it, yeah. But okay. they do include the feature where you're able to uh, have your own music. Wow. So, like... It, this game definitely has a little bit of a, like, you have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. So, like, level one now is not difficult, but, like, when you first start playing the game, the controls are definitely not something you're used to. Mm -hmm. I'm so, guessing um, this is a mini-boss you're fighting right yeah, now. Yeah, this is a mini-boss again, too. Cool. Um, but... What was I saying? Hmm. Oh well. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get over it. Um, yeah, so if you see in the bottom right there, kinda, there's the, the cracked rock. Right. They have little teleporting pads and things like that, or like other stages to the game. Okay. So it also does that kind of similar Isaac thing of like advantages and like you only have so many resources. Like I had one bomb. And right. you either have the choice of going to the shop or going into something that you don't even know. Okay, so it's kind of deciding like how to use your keys almost. Mm -hmm. So it's, it has okay. that little bit of a risk base too. Neat. Yeah. Very neat. I like the idea of um, custom songs as well. That could really open up a lot of interesting possibilities, especially if they make the rhythm correct in this game. Yeah, they do a beat recognizer actually on it. Um, okay. But I tried it with kind of terrible songs because I wanted to see how good it was and like if you use a song that goes at like I don't know like a really 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 classic slow kind of ballad right it doesn't work <laughs> okay oh my gosh uh, this looks intense yeah no this is a boss stage right now okay so there's three different bosses and they all have different themes this is like a chess like chess bass guy and they all have, like, you can't attack the boss right away. You have to kind of clear the stage and then attack the boss. Hmm. Mm hmm Interesting. Yeah. This is the, what I was talking about with the mushroom stage. Gotcha. So, like, it gets, there's, um, right now they have four levels, each which have four stages. So, three, uh, whatchamacallit, three, like, just general exploration types. And then right. you have one that's the boss. Gotcha. And all right. Yeah. I mean, to to, to me, it seems like they um they definitely incorporated some sort of like skill or it's like skill ceiling for this because it's not like I don't know a game like say a thousand and one spikes or something where it's just designed to kill you or anything like that. Yeah. No. They they're like uh their tagline was the game is difficult and requires practice, but it's not built to be unfair. Right. They were really just intending on it just to be like. If you get into the rhythm and you get used to it, it just feels really good and it works mm -hmm. really well. It, de it definitely looks really great, especially just from a gameplay perspective, I can see myself picking this up. Yeah, no, definitely. It It's rewarding sometimes, like, you'll hit the combos and, like, kill a bunch of enemies right with the rhythm and the beat and the song. Mm -hmm. And it just is like... Ooh, we're taking whoa. big damage there. And if you mess up, you take massive damage. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's, it's it is like a classic roguelike where it's kind of unforgiving in that sense. Yeah, no, entirely. Unless you have like a really good position, then you just get destroyed. Um, okay, so um, that shop right up there, you paid diamonds, and then that permanently unlocked an item for you. Yeah, that unlocked like some type of uh, flail or something. Cool. So now that's always in the game, and before it wasn't in the game. So 
Okay, so that, that's a interesting take on an unlocking mechanism, I guess. Yeah, it gives you those little reach rewards. Um, and then this little zone here is just for practicing against different enemies. Sure. Because some of the enemies, it's like, you don't really know how they work at first. Mm -hmm. So you can go there and practice. And I think that would be especially good for using a dance pad. Right. Because you don't really... I couldn't actually imagine doing this game with a dance pad because it gets a little <laughs> bit hectic. I think that's that's something we should definitely try. That'd be crazy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so who, who designed this game? Uh, this was designed by the studio Brace Yourself Games, which... Cool. On their page, they said it's AKA Ryan Clark in his basement in Vancouver with <laughs> other uh, indie developers helping from time to time. Right. <laughs> um, I don't know what else he's done, but I, I by all means would recommend whatever he does because this is this is a hell of a good time of a game. Definitely, it looks like it. Yeah. It's just got such cool level design, nice music to go with it. Mm -hmm. I, I really mu uh, very much enjoy the idea of kind of like paying to unlock upgrades in this game that are permanent. Yeah, no, the, um, it's like a reach reward. Yeah, it's something I really like that they added in um, Isaac Rebirth as well in the form of the donation machine. That was just like a really good addition to the game. Mm -hmm. Kind of like use like what you have because you know you're going to, if you die or like you have to start over with, there's something to work towards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it like, it just gives you something else. Um, so this here is the uh, dance mode. So you start off with like a better sword than the dagger. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just has a little bit less enemies, you'll notice, and everything else. Um, and then this is like what I was saying with the teleporting pads, where they take you to different things. Huh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a look almost like a hammer watch almost, too. Yeah. Um. Kind of like that. The guy designed it to kind of be in the same spirit as Spelunky. Huh. Like original Spelunky. Yeah, that's yeah. Neat. So, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that game, so... I know. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be picking this game up, probably. How much can I get this for? Uh, it is $15.99 right now on Steam. And early it is, access, or...? It's early access, yeah, but the only things I could find inside the game that, like, reminded you it was early access was, uh, what's it called? When you go to the character select stage, which I didn't actually get to, um, there's... You could select a bunch of characters or whatever, but they have two or three that aren't currently unlocked. Great. Um, and whatchamacallit, they, they said they would put those out eventually whenever they get around to it, but as far as like noticing that it's early access, nothing in this game really reminds you that it's not a full release. Sure. Which wow. I love because I hate early access games. Usually. Yeah, I, I, could, uh, <laughs> I could imagine there's a lot of uh, early access haters out there. Yeah, yeah, but no. definitely. This is this is really cool. Um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, very much a uh, roguelike cross with Guitar Hero was my first impression, but very much a uh, fun game. Enjoyed it. I want to thank you for having me on this review. Yeah, no, you got it, man. And um, I'm sure there's going to be more where I'm going to be helping you out in the future. So yeah, yeah. thanks again. Mm -hmm. And if anybody has any questions or anything. Uh, you wanted to know a little bit more? Let me know. Leave a like in, or leave a comment in the the, the comment section, and uh, leave a like if you like the video. Let me know what else to do. Uh, so this has been Kevin and Walter, and this is a walkabout. All right, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out. Bye.